Hey y'all, this is my Chile voiceover, my trip to Chile. This is, I know I said this about Peru, like South America is my favorite continent, but Chile was seriously my favorite country I have ever visited. It is breathtaking. I had such a great group with me. Um, I was on a study abroad in college. Again, I went to University of Cincinnati. This is us when we finally got to Santiago, 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 uh, the beautiful downtown. This was the view from the roof of our hotel. I just cry every time I see it and think about it. It was their summer. It was completely beautiful, amazing weather, no humidity, just gorgeous. It did take us a while to get there though because it was raining or it was snowing in Cincinnati. This is the view from our patio, just beautiful views. Um, it was snowing in Cincinnati, so my girlfriend and I had to fly to Los Angeles and then Chile, or yeah, by ourselves. So that was interesting, but we finally made it after like hours and hours of travel. <laughs> this was some political protest. Um, okay, so the actual study abroad focus was some type of management. So this is me at a wine tasting. So we were looking at the business of the winery, but we also were able to try a lot of the wine and I did not drink at the time. I tried a little bit, but I, yeah, overall my friends said it was really good. And we had this beautiful lunch there and we got to explore the gardens and it was just amazing. Um, my major was business in college so, and it was operations management. So that was kind of the focus of the study abroad. The other main study abroads I've done for school, you might have seen the videos already is Peru and China, Hong Kong. Um, I did that trip for school. All the meat, which was just hilarious because I was vegan. Uh, we visited the big barria uh, spaghetti factory. That's like the brand of all the pastas that you ever see <laughs> in your home. So that was neat. This was just kind of another tour we took of Berea, I believe it was. And them sorting everything and they their other big export market is is fruit fish and wine um i walked to see the sunrise one morning and this is a view of while we're just driving on the tour bus and this we were went to valparaiso it's like a beach city it's gorgeous a lot of people go here uh when they go to chile when they go to santiago it's a beautiful beach town it's a little bit like hippie hipster chill vibes I really liked it. The beach was beautiful. I love this picture. I repost it all the time on my social medias. Um, and then all of us kind of running to the beach. It was just breathtaking. I love Chile. It was amazing. And there's all this beautiful street art just all over the place in Valparaiso. Yeah, a lot of the food we were eating was very healthy. We ate a lot of rice and meat and vegetables as like anywhere <laughs> but it had the chilean flair and it was delicious i don't really remember any specific meal that we ate but all of them were good okay so then a small group of us from that trip went to torres del paine which is a beautiful national park really really low in chile like several hours from santiago we had to fly um, but it was the most crazy, amazing, beautiful thing I've ever done. We just took this insane hiking trip. Just a group of us. We're not even experienced hikers. And I know a lot of people who come to this national park are super experienced. But we were like just there chilling. So it was kind of hilarious. But we did this really hard eight hour hike. This is the view from the top. We were all really tired. <laughs> but it was so beautiful. There was not a trash can in sight, but there was no trash in sight. Um, it was amazing. This view, you couldn't see the, you could see the stars. It was amazing. We had to stay in this town where there was no food for like two hours. We had to bring our own food from this nearby town. And even then it was just a lot of hikers and hipsters. You could just fill up your water with the water in that lake. And it was completely clear. I couldn't believe it. And just cozy vibes from our room. There wasn't really Wi-Fi. It was like a really small eight bed, eight bedroom, uh, hotel. I had to speak Spanish with the owner because I was the only one who really knew it well enough to speak. We were able to see the glaciers, like the big icebergs in Chile. That was a lot of fun. This is our whole big group of the Santiago group who went down to Torres del Paine to the national park. And again, like no cell phone service. There wasn't really a lot going on. There was nothing there really except the national park. And that's what we did. We all just like laid down on the ground for like eight hours after with our legs up in the air. 
this was kind of my view half the time. I was reading the map. Uh, my friend Ethan was driving, and then that's our big box of food because we had to bring it. So it was an amazing, amazing trip. I love Chile. I'm happy to talk about it with anyone. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you going through this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.